Good afternoon. Are you sleeping still? No, I'm awake. It's August and we haven't done a single subpar golf review. Come on, man. We got to get it together. August? We've got golf reviews to do. Welcome back to Subpar Golf Reviews. It has been more than a minute. Have you missed us? I hope you have. We've missed you. We've missed golfing too. We have, and it shows. Yeah, we had a rough day on the golf course today. You'd think we'd never played. Yeah, definitely. Sorry for the uh, annual delay. It seems like every year we start later and later in the season. We just get so busy. August is far, far too late to start these. It really is. For a couple of guys who have a whole bunch of golf courses to review, starting in August, not great. Not good at all. What's, what we have left is what, 30? Let's take a look at all the golf courses we have yet to review. Okay, that's an extensive list. I think our Yikes. goal for next year should be to start like in May. Uh, yeah, definitely. Or June or July. <laughs> we should start now and keep <laughs> going, start never now. stop. <laughs> How many reviews can we do before it snows? Oh man. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Xenia, Ohio. Welcome to WGC Golf Course. The course was built in the 1920s. It was a private nine hole course at the time. Mm -hmm. In the early 1940s, the course was purchased by the Ogilvy family, and okay. they operated it for a little over 20 years. Mm -hmm. It was purchased by the Gokey family in the late 1960s. Did they take it public? They did. They okay. took the golf course public, and they renamed it to Xenia Golf Club. Okay. And it operated that way for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, in the early 1980s, the Gokey family hired one of our most well-loved and known golf course designers, Dr. Michael Hurston. Ah, him again. Yeah, and his buddy, Jack Kidwell. They brought them in to add a second nine and consolidate everything. And uh, that's the course we know today. Another important tidbit, that's when they renamed the course WGC. Ah, got it. Now, for years, I've always wondered, what yeah. does WGC stand for? I, I always was thinking it had something to do with like Greene County, since that's where we right. are. No, it's not. It's three gentlemen in the Gokey family. It's Will and Gary and Christopher. Oh, wow. WGC Golf Course. Well, there course. you go. So there we Clever. go. We know all we need to know about uh, WGC Golf Course now. Um, we had a beautiful day today. We did. Finally, the humidity was down a little bit. Uh, we have some blue skies. The weather overall was really good, but there were some pests around today. They have an unusual collection of sweat bees oh here at WGC. And I don't know what the actual name of that little creature is, but everybody knows them as sweat bees, right? right? That's what I call the them. The little fellas? Yeah. Boy, they were everywhere. As far as I'm concerned, that should be the mascot of WGC. <laughs> I course. agree. I agree. Maybe it's just that time of year when the sweat bees come out. I don't know, but uh, they're all over the place. The they, don't, they don't bother you. The unusual thing is there were more on the front nine than the back nine. I don't know why that was. Funny thing. Yeah. And I'm not sure. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that the front nine is the original nine. Okay. But I don't know for sure. Uh, one kind of cool thing about this golf course, we've seen courses before that were built at different times. And fairly often they have different feels. Like you can right. really tell the difference between the nines. I would say there are maybe real subtle differences. It's pretty consistent throughout the whole 18. I can tell you another thing is that, boy, this golf course has a lot of trees. Oh my God. We thought Sharon Woods had a monopoly on trees, but they got nothing on WGC. Who should we have describe how this course is? Uh, I, I think there's one guy we know of who can really pinpoint the type of golf course this is. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tuco Salamanca. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! Okay, Tuco, 
Tight, <laughs> tight, tight. My man. That's exactly what this golf course yes. is. It's tight, tight, tight. Yes. Um, the only very subtle difference I could tell between the front and the back is that it seems like the trees are a little more dense around the fairways on the front than they are on the back. Yeah. But, but I, there are still a bunch of trees. Yeah, it didn't keep me back. from finding all the trees. Man, I never hit so many <laughs> trees. And I'll tell you what, I hit them all solid. Oh, my What's goodness. the old saying that trees are 90% air? Nah. Not at WGC. No. They're like 98% solid. Yeah. <laughs> 100% solid. Yeah. It was a rough day on yeah. the golf course. We hit every tree out here. But uh, it, it is a very fun golf course. Uh, there are a lot of elevation changes. Mm -hmm. The green complexes are fantastic. Let's talk about the shape of the course. It was pretty good shape, I'd say. Yeah, it was in great condition. And yeah. you know, when we're doing our first review in August, we've given you know old man summer a lot of time to beat down and dry out these golf courses. But you wouldn't have known out here. It's, no, it's, it's in good, great condition. Good shape. Yeah, nothing's burnt out that I've noticed. There were some minor areas on some you know fairways in the rough where it was a little bit burnt out, but overall, I thought it was in yeah. great condition, especially for the humid, gross summer we've had. The greens were in good shape. Uh, the pin placement was very tough today. Yeah, there are a lot of crazy elevation changes uh, around Ooh, the greens here. And a lot of undulation. It, there, it makes for yeah. some very interesting putts when they get the uh, pin up in the breaks. Speaking of the greens, there's one thing that they do here that I kind of like. On a lot of the golf courses, they'll have red, white, and blue flags to let you know, you know, if it's front, middle, back. These aren't red, white, and blue. They were red, yellow, and blue. That's fine, but at least help you know when you were hitting towards the front, middle, or back of the green. I, you great. know what? I, like I was that. so buried in trees all day. <laughs> I didn't even notice the flags on the green. In fact, let me give you a look about what, what I was seeing most of the day here on the golf course. Yeah, this is this is my view on almost every hole trying to play through trees. I never hit so many punch knockdown shots in my entire life that I did today. I've never hit so many trees in all my <laughs> life. Uh, it's a good challenge. You got to keep it in the fairway. And we've said that about Sharon Woods. We should said that about the vineyard. <laughs> it really holds true here today. You got to keep it in the fairway. It's not crazy long. We played from the no. white tees today. And do you remember what the yardage was from the whites? I want to say 62. Yeah, around there. Yeah, around 62. And there, there are, is a blue set of tees if you're feeling brave. You want to yeah. go back a little farther than we did. But white was plenty for us today. I agree. I agree. White was plenty for us. The pace of play was great today. It wasn't really crowded. The pace of play was crazy yeah. good. We finished in under four hours on a Friday afternoon in the summertime. That's beautiful. That's amazing. That's never happened. That and I, can I never remember. felt rushed. We just, everybody wow. moved along nicely. And the amount of time we spent hitting balls and trees, you'd have thought it was a six-hour round. but And... Let's talk about the price. Man, what a value. Yeah, it was a great value. Uh, I picked, I got a couple of Gatorades and I got a logo ball for our collection in the office mm -hmm. and I paid my green fees and it was like $42. Yeah. So what is it, like low 30s for uh, a Friday afternoon? I, I think when I checked, it was $37 for greens and a car. Okay. So yeah, well worth it. Super yeah. fun golf course, 30 some bucks. That's a steal. A great value. Yeah, if you live uh, in Greene County around Xenia, you should be playing this golf course all the time. Um. What do you think overall? Good course? Yeah, I liked it a lot. We can Not talk so about... fast, my friend. Oh my goodness. What was missing when I first got here? What is the main thing I look for as soon as I walk in the doors of the golf course? There was a noticeable absence of bratwurst, and I'm sorry about that. We asked, and lovely young lady, could not have been nicer, uh, working in, uh, what, what do they call the little restaurant here? The Grill on the, the Hill. The Grill on the Hill, I think is right. Uh, she was super nice. She joked around with us. We had a great time talking to her. She tried to convince me that the sausage that she sold us was just as good. It was, it's just like a brat, I think, were his words. Yeah, I, I think some people aren't as uh, discriminating about their tube <sighs> meats as we are. It's uh, terrible. It was okay, but it wasn't a brat. It was terrible. Now, she said they do have brats sometimes on special occasions. So when like I'm here, it's the a holiday. special occasion. Well, I'm sure that you think that in your mind, ah, but well. the rest of us think it's just a normal Friday. <laughs> I think she said I was bougie. <laughs> you, yeah, she, you were very bougie today. I've been called that before, so it's all good. So no bratwurst, which is a little bit of a downer, but they did have uh, actual legit Gatorade. Yes. And not Powerade, so they That's... get some points back for that. Yeah. Um, we would be remiss if we didn't mention that we played with our, uh, our buddy Adam today. Our good buddy Adam Davis joined We've us We've worked today. with Adam yeah. for years, and he lives in the Xenia area, so Three he came out away. to play with us today. Yep. Uh, thank you, Adam, for play golfing with us today. We had a good time. Yep. Um, we all ba golfed badly, so it was a perfect pairing. It was a good time. We yeah. all enjoyed each other's company, as usual. It's always nice to have a guest join us on the golf course. If we uh, 
get an opportunity to invite someone else to join us, we will definitely do that. Absolutely. If you're interested, let us know. Uh, overall, I think it was a great experience today. Um, course conditions were good. The fairways were generally good. The tee boxes were generally flat and well kept. Yep. The greens rolled really well, maybe too well for some of the breaks. I agree with that. I agree with um, that. A lot of undulation. The pin placement was tough. Let's talk a little bit about the bunkers because huh. the bunkers were the one hit or miss thing on this golf course. Uh, I was in a bunker early on, uh, the very first hole, I believe, and it was okay, but it wasn't really sand. It was more like that kind of like thin layer of dirt. Yeah. Uh, it was loose dirt, so I mean, it was playable, but you know, it wasn't a big fluffy sand bunker. Um, yeah, then there was another bunker that looked like the episode of the Flintstones. There were so many boulders in that thing, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was crazy. I've never seen rocks so big in a bunker. And then there was another one that was like, you know, super fine playground sand. Yeah. So I, the bunkers are all over the place here. That was the only thing that was kind of unusual. Um, I'm getting attacked by the sweat bees here. Yeah, the sweat bees are the mascot and they're all over the place. <laughs> yeah. We talked a little bit about the grill on the hill. Let's talk about some of the other amenities here. Uh, decent clubhouse, not as bougie. Not as bougie. Not as fancy and humongous as some we've seen. Yeah. But it's pretty nice. Uh, when you first go in to pay your green fees, they've got a little area there with some merchandise. You can buy golf balls and tees. And hats um, and everything else. Yeah, you can buy all those kind of things. They look like they have a little a, a club repair area back there. Maybe yeah. they can uh, help you out if you need some, uh, some tweaking on your equipment. They do. I noticed a little area in the back, maybe a little seating area for a small group of people. Mm -hmm. They have a little patio as well in the front. It's yeah. shaded and they've got some uh, some fans for warm days. Yeah. So all in all, there's some, some good amenities. Uh, golf course amenities. They have a gigantic driving range. Oh, the driving range it's is huge. huge. Yeah. Uh, they've also got two different practice greens right there by the range. Right. And then they got a little bitty wee one. It's a wee one. By the uh, first and 10th tee. Right. It's the smallest practice putting green I've ever seen. But I guess if you want to hit a couple little bitty putts before you play. Yeah, I'm glad we walked around to the other side to see the driving range and the other practice greens because <laughs> I thought that wee one was the it, only one they It would had. have been underwhelming if that <laughs> oh, was the only goodness. practice green. But no, they got two bigger ones on the other side. So they've got all that covered. So the facilities are pretty nice here yeah, overall. Yeah, absolutely. We can probably cut to the chase here and talk about a score for this okay. golf. It kind of feels like a low seven to me. Uh, I'm going to agree with that. But one thing that I will give them credit for, if you're going to put them in the low sevens, at least the value was like a low sevens. You know, you didn't pay 40, 50 bucks and then you're disappointed. Yeah. So for, for 30 some bucks. It was a yeah. fun, it was a fun golf course. It's, it's well kept. Uh, it has consistent feel from front to back. Yeah, uh, pace I of play agree. was good. People were super nice. Very friendly workers here. Yeah, no, no brats, but Gatorades were good. Yeah, I, I would say like a seven point two feels like a good score for this golf. Course. I I would agree with you that. on board with a seven yeah, two. Yeah, it's definitely not much more than a seven seven five. So seven two sounds good. Okay, seven two. Well, I'm glad we remembered how to do these reviews. Jeez. Um, we kind of minute. We wing them, so I'm impressed that we can just wing it off you know, a year's lack of practice. We will do better, we promise. We'll try to do better. We've got a few requests. Uh, one of our uh, YouTube subscribers wanted us to go out and play the Grizzly at Kings Island, which ah, yeah. we have played before. It's been a while. But we haven't reviewed. Uh, the only rub with doing that one right now is that the tennis tournament is getting ready to start and Correct. it becomes a zoo down there. Traffic wise, yeah. So maybe in a few weeks, once that settles out, we can try to get down to the Grizzly. Maybe we'll do something wild this year and actually play some fall golf and do some fall reviews. Yeah, that'd be great. Especially if we have a fall this year, that'd be awesome. <laughs> if we have a fall. Good point. Um, and then uh, another subscriber wanted us to get out to Sugar Isle and play. Once, once again, we've played there many times yeah. but haven't done a review. So I would say at minimum, let's try to get those two done before the end of the year. Okay. And then I'll feel like we at least did something in 2024. That's a good start. Good deal? Yeah. All right. Thank you all for watching as always. We appreciate you. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. We'd love to hear from you about the reviews, where you want us to go. And if you'd like to join us sometime, let us know yeah. as well. We're always happy to have folks come out and play golf with us. So until next time, take care. Bye.